What's up, everybody? This is Mike, the Developing Dad, coming to you with another reflection on the Proverbs. It is April 13th, 2020, and we're going to be in Proverbs 13, verse 22. And it reads, A good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children, but the sinner's wealth is laid up for the righteous. Okay, so we've got a comparison and contrasting here of two different people, uh, their inheritance or wealth, and then the, their inheritors, those who will inherit uh, what they build up. So we got the good man. What is a good man defined as? A good man is defined as one who obeys the Lord. And the sinner in the second clause, he is one who disobeys the Lord. Now, both of them have wealth. Uh, see, You see here, a good man has an inheritance. And also the sinner, the sinner has wealth. Okay, we see that uh, wealth gained by the good man is going to be little by little, as a previous verse in the chapter states. You also have the idea here that wealth gained hastily is, is what the sinner is going to be good at. But we see the inheritance. Uh, what type of inheritance will this be for the good man? The good man can leave a material inheritance because of his prudence and his shrewd dealing. Okay, he can leave a good inheritance, oxen, cattle, Back in that time, now today it can be investments in money, in houses, real estate, things of that nature. That material wealth can be left for his children. Uh, you can leave a physical, um, you can leave physical wealth for your children, uh, teaching them how to eat well, uh, not taking care of the body, which is a temple of the Lord, uh, the physical temple, uh, not uh, living in a, a gluttonous manner or uh, being a wine biber, right? As the King James would put it, um, an alcoholic, as, as our day would say it. Uh, these are the types of things that if you're walking in godliness, you can lead your children away from these things and towards righteousness. Um, you can leave a material her uh, inheritance, physical inheritance, and then a spiritual inheritance. Preaching the gospel, walking in godliness daily, acknowledging Christ as your Lord, Walking in such a way that pleases him and then making sure that your children understand that all things that you believe, all things that you do are for God's glory. That spiritual inheritance can um, be passed down from generation to generation. And who will inherit? Who will inherit? Your children's children. This is the blessing, right? First, you'll have a heritage, a blessing and a reward from the Lord in that you will be blessed with children. Right? This is a blessing that the, this man has not only seen his generation, but he has generations that are following Many generations can be blessed again by your leaving an inheritance uh, for them. Your faithfulness to God's covenant uh, can be seen as you walk diligently and then generations upon generations do the same. All right. But for the sinner, what inheritance can they leave? Well, wealth gained um, by, you know, evil does not profit in the long run. Uh, it can be squandered because, again, you don't have you're not following the Lord. The, you will squander your wealth on riotous living, on on women, on drink, food, uh, things that, you know, that you fill the belly. Your God is your belly. Right. And that is where, you know, Paul talks about that. Their God is their belly, their belly, they glory in their shame with mind set on earthly things. You're not setting your mind on Christ. You're not setting your mind on spiritual things. So you squander your wealth. Your wealth is not given to the Lord. It, your your focus isn't on uh, using your wealth for the kingdom of God. So, again, in the in a real sense. You die and it's going to be left to someone who is wiser than you. It won't be left to your children. And even if it is left to them, they will squander it because they haven't been taught well, unless the Lord is faithful to them and grants them repentance because you haven't taught them well. You haven't taught them how to deal shrewdly. Your wealth, again, is just going to be laid up for the righteous in the um, in the eternal sense. We will inherit the new heavens and the new earth, right? Believers, this new this earth will be made new. We will um, we will inhabit it with uh, with the Lord, and He will be uh, ruling and reigning over us in this perf perfect and perfected world. That all of this will be ours. So, in the ultimate sense, all of the wealth that the sinner has will be laid up for us in that in that manner. Um, but again, it, it it points to the fact that righteous living ungodly living does not profit the the wickedness that a man commits will roll back on his head uh, the stone that he you know he pushed up will roll back on him proverbs talks about that as well but i just wanted to leave you with that uh this is the sort of the guiding principle and the guiding verse for the leaving the legacy podcast uh, and i wanted to make sure that when we came across it that we actually work through it so be blessed with that one i hope this helps you as you start your week and i'll see y'all on the next one grace and peace